and live in your purpose. When I was 17 years old, I got my very first job where I knew that what I did mattered. Jobs before that were jobs where I would just get a paycheck, pay some bills, meet some people, but this job was different. This job, when I was 17, I got, I was a certified nursing assistant, a CNA. And in that job, I remember working at a nursing home. And every day we would send our residents down to lunch. This particular day, I was sending my residents down to lunch, and Mrs. G had been sitting at the front door all day long. I said, I'm gonna grab Ms. G and I'm gonna take her down to lunch next. Came to get Ms. G. Ms. G, it's time to go eat lunch. And she said, baby, I'm not going to lunch today. I'm waiting for my husband to come home. Ms. G had Alzheimer's. And I knew her husband wasn't coming home anytime soon. Her husband had died 20 years before. Rather than rushing her and hurrying her along to lunch, I sat down next to her. I said, Ms. G, tell me about your husband. Tell me what type of man he was. Talk to me a little bit about your children. And what did she do? Her face just lit up. And she talked all about her husband, how great of a man he was, all the great things he was doing in the world, how awesome he was to their kids. I walked down memory lane with her for a full hour and it was the best hour of my life I had had in a very long time. And that moment is when I realized my why. Why I came to work every day. Why my work did not even feel like work. And why my work was helping me live in my purpose. Your purpose. I have a purpose. You have a purpose. It's for the good of the village. If we do not live in our purpose, we will not be living in our why. And that's the question, your why. What is your why? Remember your why. Your why is going to drive your purpose. So I've graduated since then, right? So I've graduated from certified nursing assistant to registered nurse to family nurse practitioner, and now I'm a nationally recognized healthcare school consultant. In all of those roles, I have had different purposes. And each time, I've always had to remember my why. Why? Because things get hard. Life gets rough, right? And sometimes you're doing things that you're trying to do it the best that you can, and then things are just crashing down around you. You have challenges. You have things you're trying to figure out. But you have to remember and stay grounded in your why. In 1998, my mother was murdered. It was because of the domestic violence that went too far. And I remember being a teenager and I was broken. My world at that time was crashing down around me. I didn't want to move on. I would have unimaginable thoughts as a teenager. I was so fragile. But guess what? The village. It was the village. It was a CEO who owned a soul food restaurant who gave me my job. It was my childhood best friend's mother and grandmother, Mrs. Folks, and Mrs. Williams who gave me a home. It was a girl named Amy who let me get an apartment in her name because I was a minor and I, I couldn't sign a lease on my own. It was a nurse who pushed me and said, you are the bomb girl. You need to go on and become a nurse. All of these people, they lived in their purpose. And I don't know where I would be if it were not for each one of them. And more. I could go on, right? We all could go on. But the idea is they lived in their purpose. Now, I don't know their why. I don't know your why. It's up to you to figure that out. What is your why? You need to remember it at all times. I like to think of your why you might be saying, Victoria, well, what's the difference between why and what's the difference between purpose, right? Because sometimes people get these confused. Well, there's a why and there's a purpose. I like to think that the purpose is the aftermath of your why, right? So let's define it real quick. Let's get techie here. Your why is your motive for your action. Your purpose is your action or goal to be achieved because of that why, right? So with that being said, that means that you can't have a purpose if you don't know your why. Period, can we agree? Yeah. People go through their life always asking you, what is your purpose, what is your purpose? Do people ever ask you, what is your why? 
Suddenly, do we ask people that? I'm asking you to think about that right now. Now, when we think about our why, there's three things you need to think about in regards to your why. Number one, your why is dynamic. That means it will change over time, and that is okay. It's supposed to. Your why comes from a personal experience within. Right now, each of you have a why, whether you recognize it or not. And number three, your why can take on a negative or a positive journey, right? So I'm gonna break these down real quick. Number one, your why is dynamic. When we first come into this world, we think about nobody but ourselves, period. That's just the way it is. As time progresses and people come in and out of your life, you have children, you have nieces and nephews, you have grandkids, now your why kind of, it shifts, it evolves, it becomes about them. For me, my why was always about me until my mom passed. She left me a baby sister, my why became all about her. I'm gonna challenge you to think right now, how has your why evolved? Personal experiences. Remember I told you your why can also come from personal experiences. It's already inside of you, embrace it. Think about it. When I took care of Mrs. G, my job was to be there for her, to care for her when no one else could. I lived in that purpose, why? Because I wanted someone to care for and take care of me, right? Now, I help people create healthcare schools all around the nation. I help entrepreneurs live out their wildest dreams. Why? Because I wanted someone to help me do the same. Think about your personal experiences and how they have shaped your why today. Next is the journey. Remember I told you, your why can take you on a negative or a positive route, but it's up to you to choose. See, sometimes we can take what we've learned and we can create hell for others because of it, right? I've been through hell, so I'm gonna put y'all through hell too. Or you can say, you know what, this experience, I'm gonna, I'm gonna change the world because of this experience. I'm going to make my mark. You have a choice. Now, when we're talking about the village, in order for the village to thrive, you have to take the positive journey. If you take the negative one, you will leave the village in a place of despair, solitude, and grief. That is not how we thrive. We thrive by touching one another, by being there for one another, for remembering our why and living in our purpose. So I'm gonna challenge each of you. Think about your why. Think about how you got there. Think about how it's driving your purpose. Think about your experiences that have happened, that have shaped your why over time, and think about how you're going to march it out in your journey. Because guess what? There is somebody on the other side waiting for you to live in your purpose and your why. And if you don't, the village will fail. And the cycle will continue. It is up to you. I challenge you. Do not forget your why.